I, I initially got the idea, um, I was in a bookshop in, uh, in London, in Charing Cross Road, and um, I saw this book saying the Pittman Painters. Well, at Pittman, uh, means miners, and um, I, I thought well, this is because I'd written Billy Elliot was very curious. Um, but the, there are two things that shouldn't go together, two words that don't make any sense, um, art and mining. And uh, so I, I got the book from the shelf, and by the time I'd got home, I'd read the first chapter, and immediately rang Max Roberts, the director, and said, I, I found the new play, because it was really clear, it was all about all the issues that I've been obsessed about for, for years in my work. Um, sort of art and working class people and uh, who does art belong to. Um, and so uh, I immediately knew it, 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 was, it was my next piece of work. The whole idea of the Pittman Painters uh, is based on a true story and it's, um, it, it's set in the 1930s and a group of miners um, from uh, this small uh, village uh, outside of Newcastle, um, which is in the north of England, um, decided they would like to learn about art history and they hired the professor from the local university to come and give them uh, lessons about art history. When he comes, he, he discovers that they, um, they've never actually seen a painting in real life at all, so he's kind of completely banjaxed about what, how, how to teach them. So he started giving them very rudimentary lessons about uh, how an artist starts to draw and lo and behold, they were extremely talented and within a year they were having shows in London, they were getting bought by um, the big collectors of the day and, and became incredibly famous. But the, the intriguing thing for me is that they didn't want to become artists, they wanted to remain as miners. And so the really interesting thing is that for the next 40 years they carried on working down the mines every day and coming up and doing this incredible body of work um, depicting their life um, and the community they, they lived in. And so um, the play is about this real conflict about is it possible to be a, a, a working class person, an, an ordinary person, and still be an artist? Do you have to, um, and, and therefore the play asks the question a lot about what is art and who does it belong to? I think w what's very interesting with the Pittman Painters is that uh, we have we played in London for a couple of years now, and we've had an awful lot of uh, Americans come to see it. And so I've got a quite a, a good idea that it's a very accessible play for um, uh, them. Um, uh, and um, uh, I'm not changing it. We're bringing the 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 same cast over, um, and uh, I think it's pretty straightforward because it's about this universal. Um, uh, subject about it, it, this group of people and these individuals trying to do something that they're not supposed to do um, and succeeding at it. Um, uh, and so there, there are little local level references that we're, we're tweaking, but I think, I think that the story is, is almost like a fable in a way. Um, so uh, I don't anticipate many uh, problems of translation, if you like. The play started because I have a very long relationship with a small theatre company in Newcastle, where I'm from, uh, where the play is set, where Billy Elliot's set. And um, uh, I wrote the play specifically for a group of actors, some of which I was at school with and some of which I was at uh, university with. Um, and so that we've known each other, you know, 25, 30 years, a lot of us. And so to, to bring that group of people, uh, and we. Uh, with, with us to the National Theatre and now to here, it really means an incredible lot to me because um, it, it's sort of like a family and um, the, the relationship that those actors have with each other, having worked on many, many of my productions and having this play written specifically for them, um, I think gives it a very different flavour to a lot of productions and uh, it's an incredible privilege to be able to, to bring a whole cast like this and, um, and I think because of the regional flavour of the language and the, the characterisation that it's, it's got a depth and richness because you're not just seeing our production, you're, you're, you're getting a kind of whole history of us all working together um, uh, and, 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 and creating an aesthetic which, um, which we can bring my mum tells me, even when I was about five or six, 
she used to ask me what I'd be, and, and I said a writer, and she would laugh at me, and then I kind of forgot about it for ages, because it was just, it, uh, you know, it was, I'd never met a middle class person. I never met anybody who'd gone to college <laughs> until I was about 18, because um, that's not where I came from. So, uh, so the thought of actually doing it was, seemed preposterous. Um, but I guess I always just had a love of theatre, you know, doing uh, your little drama things at school and, um, and just, just fell in love with it. So I didn't really know I would be a, a, a writer as such, but I really felt that the theatre was, was a place that I would naturally end up. Um, and, and so I am here, but it's a bit of a surprise, to tell you the truth. During the play, the whole space fills up with um, this art. And, um, and coming from a place of darkness where these guys worked all day, you know, literally in, in, in the filth and the black, and seeing these very beautiful, um, heartfelt uh, depictions of, and very colourful uh, depictions of their life, um, I, I think is, is really moving. So it couldn't work unless we were using the real, the real work, the real art. Um, and I think it's, it's a very interesting thing as a, as a playwright to, to have to incorporate somebody else's full body of work within your uh, play and within your production. But I think it really lifts the whole um, experience. Um, and um, and, and, and I, I try and make use of where I can of um, unpicking and dramatising the, um, what these pictures mean. Um, and, um, and I think I know that a lot of the cast have very strong feelings about, because each character's paintings uh, in the play, they're real, the real person did, and they feel very kind of proud that this one's better than that one. And uh, they have these arguments <laughs> about it in, uh, um, in the green room. So, um, so, so there's something quite special about having, having this real work on stage. I was taken to the Friedman and uh, I thought it is the most perfect theatre for this play. I mean, the, it, it is a very intimate play. Um, and, um, uh, but it's a very beautiful theatre, I have to say. It's one of the nicest theatres um, I have to, uh, I've, I've been in. It's, um, and uh, it's just, it's the perfect size um, for us, because we, we, we've been playing um, uh, in London and we've done a, a tour of, of very big uh, venues, but this is gonna hold the, the play. It's a sort of forum for ideas, but it's also perfect for the for the comedy and the farce uh, aspect too. So um, uh, it, it, it is it will be the perfect place for the play, and we've never quite had that wherever we've been. We've either been too big or too small. Uh, so um, so I'm really excited about it. <laughs>